guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called... Crumbs by Tidbit Games. And it is four? Two to four players. And how long does it take? 45 minutes or so. Dang, this guy's on a roll! And in the game Crumbs, you're basically going to be playing as four different critters. What are they? Squirrels, pigeons, chipmunks, and ducks. And they all do different things. The game's basically an area control game, but it has a little twist. What's the twist? Twist is you're going to drop things onto the board to affect the outcome. And uh, sometimes it'll move our characters around, other times it'll have a scoring points. And these are basically crumbs, crumbs that are going to be dropped on the fountain, which in turn will hopefully feed our animals. Whoever scores the most points at the end of the game is going to be the winner. And depending on the amount of points you have will determine whether your little critters are going to be upgraded. Upgraded abilities could be things like what, making your crumbs turn into water crumbs that give you bonus points whenever you're in the area. Yeah, There's moving your storehouses with you, stealing from uh, allies or uh, opponents in your area. And of course, we're all different critters, so we're all kind of working together with our own species, but kind of against the other species taking crumbs from our little, our little hive mind. Um, and that's basically the idea of the game. The game comes with like four different sides of, a bo of boards where you can like have more difficult ranges to more simple ranges. Yep, and two of them are inspired by uh, real parks, Boston oh. Park and Central Park. And then two of them are more of the basic stuff to get an idea of the game. You're going to be spotting more and more critters and trying to gain as much control over the areas of the park as you can in the game. Crumbs! Let's go ahead and show you what it looks like. Watch out for that <laughs> dog. <laughs> so here we have the game crumbs and everything included uh, as you can see there's quite a lot You've got the box you've got the rules. You've got the board and boards In fact, there's two of them underneath here So yeah, you can kind of double-sided so and they maps. yeah And when you push down these this gate here, they all fit in so it's nice and tight and secured um, I hope what they do is they let you fully fit this into the box and when you put it in It's just already there so I don't have to like put all the different gates in again yeah. uh, That's the thing I would want to see but a really nice quality prototype, right? Uh, you have all the different characters the squirrels the pigeons the ducks Four and the chipmunks different and they all play different like kind of like root in a way yeah, kind of uh, like an root. area control uh dexterity like root style game yeah and uh they all have different numbers of critters as well pigeons are going to have more they're going to be cheaper and they're going to be easier to move and then you have the squirrels and the ducks that have their own unique things whether it be uh the squirrels ducks able... can do water stuff chipmunks can stockpile their things do trees squirrels and whatnot and can share locations and they're friendly the yep so tons of different stuff there we got dice here you'll be rolling for the different locations on the board you got crumbs you got the battling dice you got the evil dog who can score He's you zero points after all those animals got the uh, board here here for the daily buzz which is the newspaper different things happen in the park and when yep. they do you're going to be drawing cards and then you got your scoring board and uh your two other little tokens there one for victory points one for checkpoints which are also actions and one for checkpoints and that's pretty much what we get in the game there you go ahead and show them how to play it let's do it let's do it so here we have the game crumbs and we went ahead and set it up for uh three players but we included the little squirrels just for fun as you can see there's additional squirrels over here but because we didn't fit in the frame this is what we're using all right and as you can see every player is going to start with two critters except for pigeons because they are little flying rats they get an additional one and every single one of the different uh animals is going to have their own unique type of uh, passive and active abilities somebody's going to be grandma maybe that's the person who first uh fed ducks at a park or something you're going to have crumbs here and then we've got all the different characters these are basically crumbs for the ducks and they work in a specific way and so do these crumbs for the yeah, chipmunks special abilities yeah special abilities that you can utilize and touch on the board here and then of course everybody's got their points on the five uh, tracker over here somebody's going to start with five action points along with five victory points they're basically the same thing these are basically going to be the little uh what, what do you want to call them exactly that you they're place checkpoints yeah you place these on the checkpoints as you get across through them so if you hit 30 you place your checkpoint on the uh the three area but if you ever go down, you're never going to lose your checkpoint. We also got our dog here ready and our cards for the daily buzz that are going to be placed down on our, each player's turn. We rolled these die here and placed them randomly on the board. And then we set all of our little critters down here in the fountain. Yep, that's right. Now Granny's going to pick up all of the, the critters in the fountain. I'm going to be Granny. Going to drop them from about a foot up over the fountain. You want to be as even as possible. And then uh, any you're going to check where they are by where their head is. Whatever the head is counts where they're going to be at. Um, then you're going to check for uh, skirmishes, which are if things are in the, the same area. And then you're going to roll off the skirmishes and then send people uh, packing. Okay, so we've got our pigeon here, and then we've got our squirrel here, so they're going to roll against each other? Yeah, they're going to roll against each other. All right, so let's say the pigeon rolled the two and the squirrel rolled the one. The squirrel will go in the middle. Yep. And then the same you're thing will happen for these. every every zone. 
Uh, well, two for this one, one for this one. He goes back in the middle. He's all th uh, now. Four. The fountain's a friendly space. It's worth nothing, and everyone can hang out. And now, what happens there. when there's all three there? Uh, I imagine it's gonna go in turn order and with just Granny around. starting. Yeah. So the pigeons will go first, and that's two. But they're also gonna get plus two because there's two pigeons there. And then we'll go with ducks. That's one. Poor ducks did not make it. And then um, now the squirrels are gonna get a chance as well with three. Uh, but. I think that's, so it's the tie, right? So probably going to roll tie again. Tie goes to the attacker. Oh, tie goes to the attacker. So there's no way to determine that right now, is there? Yeah. All right, so that's the pigeons, and that's the squirrels. Okay, pigeons definitely won that time. So they go back in the middle now. Mm -hmm. And then we move these die out. Yep, then starting with Granny, you're going to draw a, uh, a, a daily buzz card. Daily buzz card. And read it. This one says, ah, oh, any cute player with Granny's favor may move in any one feeder die Move any one feeder die on the board to any side they want. All right, so these are feeder die, and uh, he's Granny, so he can go ahead and move. Maybe moving the ducks to zero would be a thing. Yeah, especially if the pigeons don't want the ducks to get any points. So there we go. So now, when the scoring round happens, that'll be worth less. Uh, everyone gets a one move action for free, uh, which is just moving one unit, one space. Yep, that would be. It. And then the rest of your moves are going to cost actions, and you have move which costs uh, two, I believe, and you can move three, up to three units from one space into an adjacent space. So if I had three pigeons here, I could move them all to here. Yep. Or just two of them and leave one. And if you have uh, uh, enemy animals in there, that would trigger a skirmish and you, you'd continue on. You can drop the dog for two. This guy here, yep. foot away. And also you're paying with victory points yep. here. So if it's the pigeons, I got my free move. As you saw, I moved from here to here. But if I wanted to move this guy to here, it would cost me uh, points and it'll tell you how many, how many points it costs you. And I think it's two, right? Two for movement, two so for I'd dog So i place drop. it from here from five to, to five to three. If I wanted to do the dog drop, it'd be two as well. I'd simply drop this dog down and wherever it would land is going to make uh, points be zero in that specific area. Yep. Then you have a dog placement for five. You can just put the dog on the I can spend place. all five of my points, and I can just be like, I don't want you to get any points. There's Double no, zero. There's no limit to the amount of actions you can take. You're just limited by the amount of points you can spend. And right now, we all have five, have so five. there's only so much we can do. And the and final then, thing you can do is spawn a critter. And luckily for pigeons, they only cost four as opposed to five. Is that what, is that what it is? I believe that is correct. Uh, movement, spawn a critter. You have four crumbs. So I could spend four keeping one there and then i could take one pigeon from out of play and place it in any spot that you have a pigeon or, or in the, the fountain. fountain oh we'll go with here since there's going to be this is the highest number which is important for us yeah if you if you have no units on the board you can always place in the fountain okay and then after i, I can just say i'm done now because yep. i don't have anything else i want to do and now it's the duck's player. turn it's going to draw a new card all right, rabies. Plus one to all attacks this round. So every other player is going to have plus one attacks for this round as well. Ooh, wow, that's pretty useful. Okay, and uh, so, this is the duck, so he yep. can go ahead and move one space. He can go over here. If he chose to go over here, he'd actually get into a brawl with this yep, pigeon and he's here. got the plus one attacks, so... Maybe it's worth doing, so he'll move his character there. That's for the pigeon, and that's for the duck. Oh, wow, duck got four, pigeon got one. Pigeon's going to go back to the middle of the board. Yep. Poor pigeon. Okay, and the ducks can go ahead and also spawn, spend, maybe? Yeah, maybe spawn a duck. So we'll, it'll cost him five, though. But that'll give him a new duck to the middle of the board. And that would be his turn, right? Yep. And that'd be the next player's turn. And the next player here is uh, the chipmunks, and it's the zombies. Zoomies. Do a dog drop immediately. The dog may not be purchased this round. Oh, wow. Here we go. Dog drop. This is going to be crazy. Yep. That oh, was not that crazy. That was not that crazy. Oh, one more time! That Much was better. A little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what happens? The dog's head is in here. Is that where it counts yep. in? So the dog is basically going to be stopping this area from scoring points. The rest of these animals are still here, but he pushed one of the animals in, I think, this one yeah. here. So that's pretty good. That for, could be more points for the good duck. for the ducks, right? Okay, and then the the, the ducks. Um, uh, so it's the chipmunk's turn now still. So he's played his card. Now he gets to do his actions. I think he's probably going to spawn as well, right? As well as move. We got to move this guy somewhere. Uh, let's go ahead. Well, and... you can do your. You don't have to take your free move action first. You can just. I could your, spawn first. You can try and push somebody out, and then maybe try and get the three. Since they're they're probably gonna be the last ones acting this round, right? So I'll move this guy in, and I can move all my dudes. Yep. All my little cutenesses. Remember, the free move is only one unit, though. Oh, it is. Yeah. So. <sighs> all right. Let's. Maybe go you with... want to pay for a move. No, I, I'd rather spawn one because I get the plus one um, for all my attacks. So I'll move that guy there. Uh, ducks mm -hmm. and then squirrel. That's gonna do it for the squirrel. The ducks are gonna go back to the middle. These brawls are serious, guys. 
Okay, and then after everybody's taken their turns, they're all they're all done. We're not going to be playing with the uh, squirrels, so they're all done. So now the last part of the, the phase, right? The last part yep. of the round. Whoever is... has the granny marker is going to pick up the feeding, and they're going to drop it over the fountain just like everything else. Whee! Then you're going to determine which area uh, each crumb landed on clearly. If there's a dispute, you're going to go by which one it's more on. And then if there's still a tie, then you're going to vote. And these will go back. If, that, if, it, if it's still inconclusive, you're going to have a skirmish until one person wins. So there's nobody here or here. So these are just going to get yeah. back, go back. And also, any ones in the water will not score unless it's for the ducks. The ducks will get a score for the water That's ones, right. but other ones are just going to go away. So poor pigeons didn't get the three points for having that there. Um, so that is that. Uh-oh, we have this happen. There's a brawl here. Well, actually, no? these guys have a special ability. They can choose to not brawl, and they can just hang out here. Okay, so and they are And they're actually going to do that in both of the areas. Makes sense. And then you're going to score points. And it's going to be based on the number here on the board or the number on the die multiplied by the amount of crumbs. And you're going to calculate it by putting it up on this board here. So for these areas, it's going to be the... the these guys are going to control it. The ducks are going to control it and score full points. These guys can score up to one crumb from each. Nice. So ducks are going to get two, four, six points. Yep. For yellow right there. And then the squirrels will get two. Or two or three. Or two just straight up two points. Yep. Okay. So if they were there, which, you know, they're technically not there, but... Uh, and then over here is going to be two, four, six Chip points for the chipmunks. Well. I'll put them up to seven. Squirrels are going to score two as well. Nice. Squirrels are getting little bonuses there. And then uh, the ducks are going to score... Nothing, both because this is a zero and because there's a dog patrolling Ooh, that. Ooh, poor duck. Okay, but the pigeon will get two over here. Yep. Good job, pigeons. After that, that is all the scoring. You're going to take all the crumbs back off of the board here. The dog's going to go back to his house. Goodbye, doggy. You're going to remove all of the cards off the board, and you're going to start a new round. And continue the game just like that. Uh, as players get to here and uh, to here, uh, either the game is going to give you an upgrade, and it tells you on your board uh, what your ability upgrade and what your, spe what your ability upgrade is. Uh, on and each they got pretty cards. cool ones, like the ducks one, whenever you drop crumbs in the water, you immediately take them off and replace them with the blue ones, and they will last... Only score for you. They will not only only score for you, they will remain on the board the entire time that they're there. So they've got a lot of different things they can And if do. they get knocked into you, you can immediately score them too. And when you get to that upgrade point, you're going to put your little trackers there, and signifying and that you've gotten there. And even if you go below it you will still retain that ability for the rest of the game. Nice. And then when the, the game's going to end when somebody hits 51 points, at which point everyone will get another turn. It'll, it'll finish the round, and then whoever has the most at the end, or so then you're going to score, and then you're going to score again. Ooh, you're going to drop it again. Okay. You're, there's going to be two drops, and then whoever has the most points at the end is going to be the winner. And that is how you play the game Crumbs. You ready to talk about it? Yep. Let's do it. Okay, so what caveats do we have, if any, for this game? I think there's a couple different abilities all the different characters have, like Pigeons... He, they cost um, three as opposed to, or five, four as opposed to five for spawning them. They have more critters as well. And then uh, when they're defeated, instead of going into the middle, you can actually distribute them among the pigeons that are already on the, uh, the park spaces. And then you got the uh, special action, the feathered friends. Fly to a pigeon-occupied space with the three pigeons from any space on the board, ignoring um, moving one space at a time. That's right. Whenever it mentions flying, you can move to any space with no, uh, no movement restrictions. Pigeons can On fly. your turn, you can move any of your pieces around your areas as much as you want. Um, you're just not allowed to make a wall to block the things. There's got to be spaces in between them. And you're also not allowed to put the pieces up against the fence. Oh, yeah. Because if you do that, it can mess with the, the way that the... the uh, the things are going to fall on the board and likely... That yeah, well, if it's, up no against cheesing the, if, it, stuff. if it's up against the fence, then it'll just fall back into the fence, you yeah. know? And, and then, then you're just not allowed to build the wall to, to gather all the pieces. you got to make a little space. So this game is basically an area control game with a bit, a bit of, like, dexterous aspects. I mean, really, there's a lot of randomness involved in it mm -hmm. as for how they're going to be... All the crumbs are going to be falling, the dog and whatnot. You're just kind of hoping as you drop. Now, I don't know if you can actually specifically drop how you want into the fountain as long as it's in that circular space. It, it's, it's it should be as central as possible is the idea. Is what I it imagine says in the that, right? It doesn't want you to lean to either side. If they manage to bounce out, you just so keep... So placement is going to matter the most in this game. Yeah, and yeah, of course, the, the different boards are going to be more ex, like expert level than others. Some of them have smaller spaces, others will have bigger ones. In this case, this one's actually rather large. Yeah. And they're they're high value as well. Well, yeah. they're they're middle value. The 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 expert boards have super small things that are worth three, 
you know? This one reminds me of Root in a lot of ways. Yeah, it's like a, a simplified version of Root. Yeah, it's a very simple version of Root. It has the area the control. It's asymmetrical gameplay. But then you throw on the dropping things on the board and adding the little fence, the different boards that change. And it's really cool. I really yep. enjoy this game. It's going to be... De I think this game is going to be a hit, especially for kids and families. As long as the marketing gets hit on this game really well, this game is going to be a, a really fun. I love the different characters. And they're all, they all feel different and act differently as yep. well, which is super cool. And uh, the points as well work to your advantage because you can get rid of them but that might make you lose. However, oh no, little sugar's running around. However, if you're gonna be moving um, after 30 or whatever, you're gonna be able to save those locations, but you can spend as many as the you upgrades want. upgrades give you powerful abilities, the ability to have the crumbs fall in the water and then collect them at any time and no one else gets them, you know? Yeah. So they're, they're, they have a lot to offer in this game as far as the different characters you can play. There's probably certain recommended characters you want to play, depending on a two, three, and a four-player game. It is yeah, random. I feel like squirrels would never be, it should never be in a two-player game. I just, it's just how, kind of how I go because they they, they occupy, share spaces. They share spaces. And anytime you have an ability like that, it doesn't it doesn't feel as good when you're playing in a two-player game. Yeah, it's like playing with that the the one the, the one character, the bandit in in Root. Um, but yeah, uh, the artwork is really solid. It reminds mm -hmm. me of going to a park. It's cute. It has um, it has a nature feel to it. It's got a, a charming touch to it, you know? Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that aspect of the game. The components, the quality, everything for a prototype is excellent. I'm very excited yeah. to see what they make. Uh, they have all the cute little... They got pigeon meeples, which is called pidgeeples. And then they got duck meeples called... Deeples? Deeples? I don't know. But they're super fun. Um, I, I really enjoyed this game. As long as you don't mind a little bit of randomness involved in this game, you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Uh, because there is that aspect of how they drop, yep. where they drop. We were and playing, and I had great position, and then the the chips fell, the crumbs fell, and I scored nothing. And they all went to me. That dog can be rather ruthless, The dog too. can be ruthless. One time, it took away all, like, all my hard work, but then the crumbs fell in my one spot, and I scored like... like 15 points even though the yeah even though the work you kind of met even though i messed you up it didn't actually mess you up at all yep um what do you think about any any critiques in this game i mean other than it just being potentially random i don't really have any other critiques about this game um they never mentioned the transferring of the first player and it can kind of get weird in a um a, a area control style game where someone gets ahead and they're playing last place so they don't have to worry about everyone messing up their position yeah and uh, every round you or every time a player plays, they're going to reveal more and more abilities. So if you're in first place, you you might not be affected like by the rabies card where the, there's the plus one attack. You know that could come later in the round, and then you never get to use it. And because it only changes randomly throughout the game. Yeah, the, basically the granite cards are only going to drop uh, change players when the cards flip over. I mean, unless there's a rule that we're missing right now, and I mean it could be in the Kickstarter how it just changes, but it is a prototype, so rules are subject to change. But I mean, this is this is my sugar glider approved. This is Sydney approved. This is a really fun little game. I really enjoyed it. Uh, this is definitely going to get my approval for family dexterity games. Ah, it's in me! <laughs> definitely do check it out down below in the description below. Any solid afterthoughts about this game? What do you think? Think it's going to be a hit? Yeah, I think it's going to be a hit. Yeah, me too. All right, outro time? Yep. Outro. In three. In three. Alright guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment, as well as... Hit the bell for notifications. That's right, hit the bell for notifications, so that you know all the rest of our videos that are coming out, and if you like Kickstarter games and all that kind of stuff, we've got you covered there. As well as checking out our website... UnfilteredGamer.com Where we have... Kickstarter list, blogs, and more. That's right, and we're giving away the game... Uh... No, it's the other one. Dogs! Dogs! Dogs, but not my dog. If you want to check out that, you can go ahead and go to our website. We have a ton of games on there. Uh, we're giving away. We're giving away a lot of fun games. You get a game. You get a game. You get a game. Ah, the sugar Everyone orders. gets a the game. game. The sugar is still inside my shirt. As well as take a look at our friends, everythingboardgames.com, and the giveaway geek, as well as what's his name? What's his name? Uh, Ferdinand? The cardboard stacker. He does a lot of things, and ah, okay. A lot of animation. Yeah, a lot of tutorials. And uh, he's part of all of our videos. He'll be here this Wednesday for another live stream. Ah, there he is. <laughs> Do go ahead and check him out. He's great work. Anyways, thank you guys for checking out Crumbs. If you guys you like Crumbs, check out in the description below. Yeah, it's 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 a really solid little game. It's fun. Little critters. I love going to the park. Uh, me and my wife take the dog all the time. This game actually gives me that feel of going to the park and taking a look at all the different little critters. You feed the ducks. I love feeding the ducks. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, we look forward to seeing you next time. Feeding the ducks next time. I'm